Yo, what is up guys? Today we're going to be doing something interesting. I thought of an idea for a video concept, so I'm going to try it and see how well it does. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. We are on our way to 2,000 subscribers and we, all, we are also doing a giveaway on Wednesday. So if you want more information about that, comment down below. Or just look at my main video on my channel for when the podcast starts, because it will be during the podcast. Either before, after, or middle. I haven't decided yet. i got to talk to Torquepool, but we'll get the... Uh, JP account, 66 Rimuru, and Shuna account giveaway during that day. So anyways, go ahead and break into it. So this video is going to be based off if you could make one change on any catastrophe unit, what would that change be? And if it would be enough to make them viable. Now, there are multiple characters that would need multiple changes, so I'm going to try to limit myself on the changes without reworking the character. Uh, the idea is here, if we could just rework one thing on this unit, would it make them viable? So an example for Camilla is literally just change her ultimate and give her the passive uh, of transformation and then buff her stats. At minimum, would that make her good enough to be meta or at least sub-meta? Uh, Camilla is a tricky one because like Camilla is the hardest unit in the game to buff because she's so bad. Her stats across the board are just terrible. Her ult's terrible. Well, if it did damage, it'd be good. But uh, I think Camilla is like the one that I can't really fix because she just needs to be worked, reworked from the ground up. So this is the one example I'm going to throw out there as an unfixable character unless you just make a new version, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start with uh, Easton. We have two Eastons. I'm going to pick probably two, like, uh, I'm going to pick one or two non-awakened names and then one awakened names and tell you how I'd fix them if there's issues with them or if I think they're good enough. Maybe the change just buff their stats and they're great, right? So we're going to go ahead and start with Green Easton. She's very popular. So... She got a weak point. Her passive is increases allies' pierce rate, crit chance, and crit damage by 5% for every debuff applied on the enemies. Once again, looking good. She's got a disabled recovery skills, and the, her kit, her ultimate's a spike guard. Alright, I'm already looking at this character. I'm like, damn, her kit as a whole is pretty solid. There's two changes that I would make for her, though, if I could do so. I would just make this card literally an infect, AoE infect. Uh, because, like, what's the point of having this? It does. It, it should just be an AoE infect. There's nothing wrong with this being an AoE infect. And the second thing I would change is her ultimate. This should just be something complete. Spike, she's never going to crit, right? If she doesn't get a stat update, she's never critting, so just change her ultimate to something else. Flood, weak point, whatever. Uh, just make her another ultimate, honestly. Anything's better than the spike guard, to be honest, so in my opinion, that's how you'd fix this unit. You just give her AoE infect, and you change her ultimate, and she's pretty much good to go and fix. Now, if you wanted to go above and beyond, obviously give her a little bit of a stat update, but once again, a lot of these units I'm about to mention could use a stat update, so it would be kind of unfair to just say, oh, these stat updates, fixing them. No, we're trying to fix their main core kit to make it perfect. I love the weak point idea, I love the passive idea, and I love the idea of her... Just, I love the idea of this Easton being actually like a DPS. So just give her an AoE infect and she's like, Reuven, and then just make this like... Why can't this have been a sever? <laughs> Honestly, it would have been better. So, uh, yeah. So, that's how I would have fixed Easton. So, if you guys get the example now, we're good to go. Uh, so, that's Easton. That's how I'd fix this Easton, is literally what I just said. So, going on to the next one, we're going to go Awaken Easton. Our Easton of Authority. All right. This character is actually really good, um, but there are two changes that I would like to see them make on this character. The first one is the effect Oxidize. I would keep the effect the same, but however, I would just make it do it instantly instead of after the turn. So whenever you hit them with it, it would just apply the debuff, deranking mechanism right away. And then stay on them for the additional turns. Obviously, if you did that, you'd have to nerf it slightly because the actual damage of the multiplier is very strong. It starts at 10%, goes to 20, then 30. So I think 10% is fine at level 1. Level 2 would have to go down to 15%, and then level 3 would be like 20% or, or 25%. I think you just nerf it by 5%. And make it where it instantly dissolves would be a lot more consistent. Could be arguably OP, but that's fine. I think debuffs, like, they're the OP, they suck, right? And this one's kind of inconsistent, so I, I, I would obviously just change the effect of how this card is worded. And just make it apply as soon as the uh, card hits. Because if it, if it applied as soon as the card hit the enemy, this thing would be insane, right? I think having level 3s would be detrimental to your health. The second thing that I would change to this unit is just give her a, uh, well, I, I said I wasn't going to do this, but give her an actual stat update, because when she got Awakened, the only stat that got updated was, like, her HP, and I think maybe a couple other basic stats, but none of her other stats are updated. Give her a stat update, actually buff her defense, 
Crit defense needs a buff. Crit resistance needs a buff. Make her where she doesn't get killed. Because she's supposed to be a tank. Like, make her up able to tank hits, right? And then she's good to go. Other than that, I, I like the unit. I like her flood card. I like her dissolve card. I like her passive so for the most part. Some will argue, yeah, maybe if this was an actual offensive based passive and it did help do damage, it'd be better. I like options, so I'm fine with her passive. Just make her where dissolve, uh, this oxidized card applies instantly instead of at the end of the turn. Like, make it more like a abyss effect and we're talking business in my opinion so that's how i'd fix easton two changes nothing crazy um i think everything else about her is fine uh who's next on this list uh let's check who would be the next one on this list it would be because i gotta remember i'm trying to do this alphabetically in order i should have wrote this down so it'd be easier because i don't want to miss someone on accident i think it's lilia right if i had to guess it's lilia next yeah, it's Lilia. So we're gonna go to Green Lilia for base. Um. All right. So she is a tricky unit to. Wait, no, it's not green. It's blue Lilia. Blue, blue, blue. Not this one. Um. Uh. Blue base. We'll go with the good one that has actually has a good chance, right? So the Pierce unit, right? Everyone loves this unit because of what her passive does. I think the best way to fix this unit, honestly, is because like. The heal's fine, I feel like. Um, honestly, if this remove buff at level debuffs at level one and be much more consistent. Um, her ultimate's fine. Uh her level one card is just kind of it's it's okay. Like her she's okay. Like I'm just looking at her and she's an okay unit, right? None of these cards are outstanding, none of these cards do anything special. Her ult's decent. Like she's just an okay unit across the board. But how to make her better? I think she needs a different card. I honestly think... Uh, fuck the healing, dude. Remove the healing. Alright, just remove the healing. Give it something else. L let her do something else. I think I think the heal card is worthless here. Uh, this card has got some value because you can instant dissolve, which is nice for stalling, so I don't want to get rid of this. Level 1 has got no effect, which is kind of a negative, but like at least it depletes. This is literally Red Lilia's AoE, where it depletes instantly, which is fine. I think this is fine, but remove this healing card. I think she needs something else. Uh, anything else. Uh, like, any, any, literally anything else could be more valuable than this. A shield. Um, a debuff. <laughs> I think a shield. Give her a shield. Because, like, most of the time, Pierce teams are squishy, so give her a, sh give her a Goddess Liz's shield, and we're talking, like, this unit could actually probably be better. I think Goddess Liz's shield on her would be a lot better than this healing, right? Because you don't really need healing if you have good life steal, so... I think you give her Goddess Liz Shield, and we're talking like this unit could be a lot better outside of the stat buff, obviously, right? And then we're talking, and her horrible artifact, or relic, with, I don't, this relic's terrible. Give her a new relic, give her the Goddess Shield, and then we're talking like maybe this unit can come back and actually be decent. Because everything else is like decent, right? Like, it's hard to like say this unit's like trash, but she's not. She's got, her pass is amazing. But when you have this useless ass heal card, it's just like, what's the point, right? It's not it's not like the worst, but I'd rather just have a shield. So that's what I would do to her. Change her shield, update her stats, and give her a new god just give her a new holy relic, please, for the love of God. And she's good to go. Uh we're gonna go to the next Lilia, which will be the Awakened Lilia. Oh, why do I always do that? There's an I there. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this Lilia, the good Lilia. Let's just make her more broken. You might be thinking, how could you make her more broken? She's already a god, and therefore you would be right and also wrong. For the love of god, buff her goddamn ultimate. I am sick of this, dude. Why does every unit that I love have to have a dumpy ass alt at 6-6? Six, six? Like, this alt's decent, alright? It's decent. But it's only decent when you max a relic out. If you don't max this relic out, this ultimate is trash. Please give her something good. Please. Anything else. This is <laughs> well not anything else, but please. Please. Give her King's Ultimate. Like, please. Like when I mean King Ultimate, I mean the new King. Literally give her new King's Ultimate. Make it where she cleanses herself, it removes buffs, and then nukes the field. She would be so broken, it'd be it would be insane. I, I know I didn't really like make her broken because like her kid as a core is good but just give her a new ultimate please i am begging you to go back and fix this ultimate up the multiplier do anything like honestly the remove buff is fine but at least make this thing scale like an ultimate because this thing hits like a wet noodle even at like six six you gotta have like max stats on her relic and have like debuffs uh, everywhere and uh, like holy this is i think the scaling i think if you up the scaling on this shit so like 
Make it start at 455 at 1.6 uh, and scale this shit up to 700%. And then maybe, and then maybe it'd be, it would be a good ultimate, right? It's kind of a high scale, but honestly, this ult needs some love. That's the only thing I'm gonna say, buff the ultimate. Going on to the next character, who's after Lilia? Uh, that is a catastrophe. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's find out. I could just name them all in my head, but I'm too lazy. Is it Mono, really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's Mono, isn't it? Yes. All right, so we're gonna fix green Mono because honestly, this pisses me off. I love Mono. She's my favorite unit in the game. But why for the why does she have to have this card? We like everything else about her. I can deal with. I love her passive. I love her ultimate at times, and I love her sever card. Right. I also love her holy relic. But the one card that pisses me off is this card. Turn this into a weak point, and she will become a completely different unit. She would be probably the best green unit in the game. Uh, second best green unit in the game. Well, because the thing about Rimuru, and Rimuru is very good, but I'm trying to think of ways that, because like Mono doesn't, Mono's not going to be scared of Rimuru, right? Because she doesn't buff herself with blue buffs. So like, her team doesn't really, she's not afraid of Rimuru. But this card needs to be something else. For the love of God, make this a weak point, and we're talking business. It won't hit nearly as hard at like whenever you do like full crits, obviously, but it'll become more consistent. I just want consistency. Is that so much to ask for? She's got great crit rate. Like she's got crazy. It's like 111 or 112 percent crit rate on her own rank. So you raise that shit up by 30 percent, like 142 percent crit rate. Imagine that on a weak point. And just imagine that on a weak point. You just sm oh my God, she would be a godly unit. Like she already is, but she would be even better. Like, turn this to a weak point, and she's a god. Like, legitly best unit in the game. Like, arguably best unit in the game when it comes to, like... Well, when I say best unit in the game, I mean, like, she'd be in the, like, god tier, right? She'd be, she'd probably be in god tier. Officially. Like, officially in god tier. Because there are still people that argue against it, which is fine. You can do whatever you want. I understand if you hate her ultimate. I love her ultimate. I, it, it helps me win the games. But, like, for the love of god, make this, make this weak point. Devs! Weak point. Please. All right, so we don't have Wake Mono next, so we're skipping. I think Shin is next, right? I think so. So we're gonna go to Shin. Shin, Shin, Shin. We're gonna fix Green Shin. Because I actually like Green Shin, right? Once again, we got a weak point. Good. Got a... Like, Shin is overall decent. I think Shin's kit is decent, right? There are two changes that I would make, obviously, to this character. And he'd be godly, but, like, one of those, once again, give him a sad update. Because, like, this guy needs to be better on his stats. Because he gets, he gets crit, he just dies. Uh, look at that crit defense. He gets crit, he dies. Um, the first thing I would do is update this card. Uh, his, his Fire Bully. It has no scaling. This this card legitly has no scaling. It's stupid. Like, why does it start at 150? Level 2 is 150. And then level 3 is 150. W why? What is this? What is this? 150 is fine in level 1. Scale this shit up to 180, or like 170, or like, just uh, just scale it up slightly, right? So like, this could be like 150, this can go to 170, and then this can go to 200%. The card is great. The card is amazing, right? Do that, Debs. Scale this card up. The 150 across the board is super shaft, alright? Scale this shit up. Uh, I'm fine if it's weak point, I'm fine if it's passive, I'm fine if it's ultimate. Obviously, people are gonna be like, you should turn his ultimate into a power strike. Have you met Terry? <laughs> like, sure, do it. I dare you to do it. Give this guy an AoE power strike. Let's let him be better. Let him be God. Uh, with his passive, with his with his relic. Yeah, go for it. I, I wouldn't complain. AoE ruin. <laughs> let me do it. Like, Shatter's fine. But if you want to make him broken, power strike or AoE ruin, and we're talking about, like, gods here, right? The only thing I really want to change on this guy is this card. Just make this, like, I'm fine with the effect. The effect's fine. Just scale it, please. Scale it. And then update his stats. And this guy is, like, fucking great. He's already really good, but, like... Well, he's already pretty damn good, but, uh... Make him meta. Like, make this guy meta. Contastrophes deserve some love, alright? Uh, what is after Shin? Um... Any other S unit that I'm missing? It's, uh... Valenti next, I think, right? Or Roxy. No, it's Roxy. Roxy was technically before Shin, wasn't she? No, it's Shin... Yeah, Roxy. Oops, I missed Roxy. Okay, so Roxy. Oh my god, there's so many different Roxies. Which one would I want to buff? Which one would I want to buff? I'm gonna buff... Either the red or green one. Which one deserves it? Which one deserves to be a god? They're both so, like... They're both so, like... 
Uh, we're gonna buff both, okay? We're gonna start red. How do you fix the reds issue? Um, honestly, I like this unit. I do. I do like this unit. A little bit of a stat update. And she's looking much better, right? Her ultimate's actually really good. Especially at 6-6, six, six, it does hit very hard. The orbs can help, because this would pair well with Easton. Um, her explosion card, I have a little bit of issues with it. I already did this in the past, where I, I explained what I would do with it. Just make this explode off turn one. Literally. Just please. Uh, I don't want to sit there and have the weight on my passive, thank you. Just like... Please? Uh, make this explode off turn one, we're talking much better. Make this scale to 120, we're talking much better uh, than everything else about this card's right. Just buff the level one. If you buff the level one on this card, this card would be actually really, really good, right? The level one holds it back slightly, but level two is great, level three is great. Just buff the level one, and we're talking. Give her a stat update, and we're almost there. Give her a goddamn new Holy Relic, dude. I hate this Holy Relic. I don't, I don't like CC sticks. Let's give her a goddamn effect, dude. Please. This Holy Relic, I hate, I hate CC stick Holy Relics because they're not gonna age well. Yes, they're good for the moment, they help you with your damn CC, but they're not going to age well. If you want to make it a CC stick, give them effect on the bottom. If it's a minor effect, change the shit, okay? Like, I hate this Relic because it doesn't do anything for her. except give her more CC and some slightly decent base stats, which is, who cares? Just, I'd rather have actual effects. Please. And then, and then, uh, this card, this card, this card. I'm okay with this, uh, this card, actually. Buff removal is pretty strong. Uh, I, I think her, I think her single target card's decent. It's not bad by any means. It's not great. It's situational base. I just want to see the explosion card ch changed, and then I think she's solid. Give her a stat, give her a slight stat update. Give her, give her a new, change this relic. For the love of God, change this relic. And then, um, make this where level one explosion card actually hits the uh, explosion off turn one. Scale it to 120. And then I think the card's fine. Uh, like I think it's fine. It's that that those simple changes would make a world's different for her. I like her passive because it makes her like let's say you take a lot of damage turn one, instant boot. Like if you gotta like if you explode you just heal up. I like I actually really like her passive. It helps her stay alive, right? And the orb, like the alt rush is fine. Why couldn't her all? Like now I'm gonna think about it. Why couldn't her? Why couldn't her relic been like, is immune to like dissolves or something? Where you can't get, like, you can get depleted instantly, but you can't just get dissolved. Like, she's immune to dissolves or something. That would have been way better, because, like, everything she wants to do is alt rush. Like, everything she's trying to do is alt rush, right? Especially on the other ones, like, because of the plus two orbs. Like, make this unit an alt rush unit, but, like, because it's, it's a single target all. Who gives a damn? It's not an AoE, it's gonna wipe your field, it's gonna just probably kill one person. So, give her something that immunes her to, uh, like, AoE dissolves, and you're good to go. Like, not the single target ones, obviously, but the AoE ones, so you have some variety or something. And she's good to go. And, and, and then, like, yeah, and then she's fixed. Let's go to the other Roxy real fast. I want to talk about Green Roxy, because this one pisses me off, too. This unit could be so good. She legitly could be a god in this, uh, in this, like, current state of the game. But the issue is, they shafted her stats. Her passive's actually solid. Uh, it does give you quite a bit of attack related stats. The problem is her stats on the uh, like her crit chance is so atrociously low, she just can't crit. If this unit could crit, we'd be talking business. Now, how would I fix this unit? How would I fix this unit? Because she's actually really good. Two changes I would make. Give her more crit chance and maybe up her stats a little bit so she's actually like decent like her defensive stats because you don't really need her out like outside of crit chance i think her offensive stats are good because you can put her in a camera team anyway so just give her a lot more crit chance like please please she needs to be over 100 percent crit chance for this to work change the charge card into a uh power strike i'm telling you guys power strike would be so good for her an aoe power strike would decimate and then make their then make this first card like um some other card that's not so trash her single target's just kind of mid um, what would be good as a single target card? Pierce. Give her a Pierce card. Pierce single target. Because she's got 75% Pierce rate. I'm looking at this Pierce rate, and a Pierce single, single target could legitly be good for her. So give her Power Strike, Pierce, upper stats, and, uh, she's a good unit. I think that'd be fine. I think a Pierce card would be fine. Um, you could give her a debuff, a single target debuff, uh, or something. I, I don't really know what other single target cards there are. Because I don't want to, I don't want to overlay, like, the same, um, like, cards. I don't think that'd be, like, the worst thing. I think a single target Pierce card would be pretty solid for her. And then AoE Power Strike would be sick. And then, yeah, and then upper, upper crit chance. 
fuck this, dude. Upper crit chance. And then she's good. Obviously, give her a new relic, because this relic sucks. Um, just give her just give her an effect, dude. Please. Just give her an effect on a relic. It's going to piss me off. All right, so we did Shen. Uh, what's our next? I think Valenti's last, right? Is that seven? Camilla, Easton, Mono, Roxy, Valenti. Or, uh... Hold on. Camilla, Easton... Lilia, Mono, Roxy, Shin. Yeah, yeah, yeah Valenti's last. Sorry. All right, let's fix Valenti. Uh, we're gonna fix both Valentis. Uh, Valenti, Valenti, Valenti. I actually really, 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 really like this. This, this, this relic is underrated. At six six, she claps the ass cheeks. Okay, she she does. She needs to be six six or five six, but like mine's four six and it's pretty good. But like, just just imagine the extra one hundred percent scaling on this shit. Woo! I. Uh, Sheesh, she one shot Meliodas, it'd be great. All right, so how would I fix this unit? All right, how would I fix this unit? See this attack related stats card? Yeah, this thing's shit. It pisses me off. This is not a bad card in theory. Like, honestly, you could literally skip her Elizabeth's card instead. Though, you know, one doesn't do damage, but uh, just applies the, you know, the deep the defense, the, like, attack related stats down. I think you could just change it to that. That minor change it would make a world different because then you'd actually just have this right away. Because if we go to, I think it's one of the Liz's, right? Liz Hawk. Um, a little Liz. And then it's Summer Liz Hawk, right? Yeah, these two. Like, I know it sounds stupid, but like this is good because you get it right away. 20% less chance to crit, 20% less attack. This is fine. I think this card is actually pretty solid. It's definitely one of those cards that you throw out in a desperate situation. But like the thing is, here's why I think it'd be good on Valenti, right? Because the way she works. You give her that card instead of this one, it would help her with her passive, right? Because you're already lowering their pierce rate so low, so why don't you just lower their attack stats even lower? And patience literally the world. This card is good at level 2. Like, this card at level 2 is actually solid. You can actually tank so much more, like, effectively. The damage doesn't matter. I don't give a damn about the damage. I just want the effects. Make her get that Elizabeth card. And we're talking about a unit that could actually be a lot better in Ungeared 2, because this will actually pair in Ungeared well, right? Now, for her single target, um, I'm actually a big fan of this card. I really am. I do like this card a lot, but I understand the reasoning why you'd want to buff it or change it. So, the way, the, the way I would think you could do this, because, like, let's be honest, when you do defense-related stats lowering, it's lowering their defense stats, like, for example, defense, crit resistance, Great defense, resistance. Uh, I think that's the main stats, right? In today's age, in the t like in today's like units, their crit resistance and their crit defense is so stupidly high that twenty percent isn't enough to really make an impact. So what I think you do is you just buff this card. You give the level one thirty percent. You give the level two forty percent. Or okay, so you give the level one thirty percent. You give the level two forty percent, and then you give the level three. Uh, 50%. I think you just buff it by 10%, and this card is stupid. Like, really useful. Because then you can actually create units like Margaret and Deanne. Uh, like, th even with the 30% buff on level 1, it's gonna be arguably, like, is it good or is it not still? Because, like, it's depending on the unit. But I do think level 1 buffing this by 10% would be good enough. Especially if level 3 being, like, 50%, and then level 2 being a 40%. I think that'd be really, really, really good. It would make it able to where she's, like, the perfect support. Because you don't need to cleanse to be the perfect support. You just want to use for like Valenti's purpose, and the reason why I like Valenti so much is because her whole kit's all about cucking the enemy's maximum damage. Passive is literally just like f you, f your pierce rate. Her, her, her this card's supposed to be like haha, f that stuff even more. Which I wish is why it was the uh, normal list one, so she can just get the attack related stats turn one. Like, could you imagine? Could you imagine if you went first, you pop that card, boop. And then they literally have negative attack stats, and then you pop, like, Lilia's card or whatever, do whatever, add some uh, deep buffs on her, and uh, they literally can't do anything. How awesome that would be. And that's just me just being so generous. Like, obviously, obviously, the main thing I would love them to do is go back and buff her resistance stat. Like, please, buff her, like, buff her stats. Make her tankier. Get this bitch being a resistance character should have fucking naturally an ungeared 50%. Like, please. She should have 50% resistance naturally, like, in her own kit. I think it's 30%, if I remember right, on ungeared. It's trash. This needs another 20% buff. This should be, like, 
40% at level 1, and then she go to 50 to 60%, arguably. I'm telling you guys, if they did that to her, this would be the most toxic character in the game, and I would actually love the shit out of it, because only good units would be able to do damage. Like, Amplify units, um, Power Strike units, like, there would better be a very set, set amount of characters that could actually hurt you, and that'd be mainly Power Strike and Amplifies, right? It would be so good. I would, I would, I would... Uh, this, this unit would be a stable unit my team forever if she was that good, dude. If they just slightly buffed her, like, gave her that attack-related uh, stats naturally down with the Liz card, uh, buffed this by, like, 10% of each one, and then gave her some resistance in her kit. <laughs> Whoa, damn, she'd be so broken. It'd be so good. Uh, but she's still solid. I think she's solid enough, but uh, a little buff wouldn't hurt old units, right? All I'm saying is that a little buff goes a long way. All right, let's go to the last character. Volenti, the second version, MP2. Ah. This character frustrates me because she's so good on paper, but like, she hurts my soul, alright? How to fix this character is actually quite simple. This character is so easily fixable, it's it's a joke how easy this character is to fix, right? You see this little stat called crit rate, or crit chance? Buff it! And she's fixed. You literally buff that. Her ultimate is amazing. Her, her single target and nullify card is amazing. Her sever card is trash because her crit rate doesn't... Do, she doesn't have enough crit rate. You need to make her have, like, uh, at least... Um, what it would be the crit chance you would need for her to be, like, actually, like, good with sever card, right? Uh, like, legit, like, a legit number. Because yeah, it's sever is times three, I think. So... 70% crit chance. And she's probably a lot more consistent. Because that'd be two hundred ten percent crit chance. All right, it's not even like asking for that much. Just give her crit chance, and she's good. She's like stupid good. Like she's then able to do the the role that she wants to do, which is disable and damage. And then they're all still good as is, right? Uh, I, I'm fine with everything else on this unit. I just wish her crit chance was better, and that would be it. Just give her better crit chance, because three times sever on like her current shit isn't overlap. It's it's lower than monos, right? And I'm not even saying with the, I'm not even saying lower the monos with like her sever card. I'm saying naturally lower the monos. She doesn't break 140% ch crit chance. Hell no. She she needs crit chance. Now if you want me to nitpick, I can nitpick, right? Uh, increases heroes pierce rate crit damage by the value of 50% of the hero's crit resistance. Put crit chance in this shit at least, so she can actually crit. Then you wouldn't have to even like buffer. Just put crit chance in this passive. Increases heroes crit pierce rate crit chance. Or yeah. Increases heroes' previous rate, crit chance, and crit damage by the value of equal 50% of the character's crit resistance. Boom! That gives her the automatic fix on her crit problem, right? You don't even have to buff her stats in. Just fucking put it in the passive, and then she's fixed. Uh, that would probably overcap it by a little bit, which is why I think you should just do the 70%. Uh, give her the 70% natural crit chance when she's maxed out. To have 210% crit chance, which would be a lot more effective. That's that's low balling. Like when I say 70%, that's still low balling it. That's still like she might still be kind of inconsistent, but she'll be better than where she is. If you might be real, just give her 90%. Like give her 90% crit resist uh, crit chance, and we're talking, and then she's perfect. She'd be one of the best units in the game, like for like situational play, right? Because like her her single target card is very good. I was gonna say, oh yeah, we can just buff this, make it an AOE, but let's not break the game now. Um, we don't need to break the game. Uh, I think single dark is fine, and then just buff her crit chance to make it where Sever actually is able to crit consistently, and she's good to go. And that's how I'd fix her. Because, like, she's got, like, the best catastrophe ult in the game when it comes to, like, overall. Until we see what Muwek and Mono does, I do think her ult in general is, like, the best catastrophe ult in the game. Because it's increasing her damage dealt by 50% and decreases damage taken by 50%, right? Boom, boom. Huge damage, right? For three turns. Inflicts, uh, and then inflicts 525% damage on, a. Uh, the uh, hits, but the thing is, she's increasing it, so she got a sick ult. I can't wait for a new volunteer to come in that doesn't have this gimmicky like, like gimmicky hit. Give her a normal kit, and she's and she's fucking great. Like, just give her a normal kit, um, and she's good to go. Increase her crit chance when you bring her back, or just don't have her be a crit unit. Like, if she was a cleave unit, maybe that'd be better. But like, honestly, I like the crit noises, like the ching 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 ching. -ching. I like the crit noises, so yeah, just increase her crit chance, and she's and she's and she's a god. And she's awesome. Well, she's not a god, but she's so much better. If she just can crit consistently, her damage is insane. Because, like, her Holy Relic isn't bad. It's just inconsistent because she's not critting. 
But when you hit someone with a rocket punch, you see the damage. Like, you'll see her do damage with a rocket punch. And this is a debuff card. She's, she'll friggin' bop some phases with this, right? And her ult's sick. So, increase her crit chance, and she's a good unit. That's all you have to do to fix blind T. But, uh, I think that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. But that's how I would buff these units. Uh, mainly just basic stat, or like the stat updates and very, very minimum card changes that make them good. Because like some of the card choices they have are just trash, right? Or the card effects like Oxidize could have been so much better. But they just like cut them for whatever reason. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And let me know in the comment below what unit would you change and how would you change them to make them better. Curious to see what you guys see. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace.